Welcome to the Crypto Breakdown Kadena Whiteboard Mini Series. In this mini series, I'm going to help you understand every aspect about the Kadena blockchain from a first principle standpoint. In today's video, we're going to talk about Kadena gas stations. This will be a two part video. In part one, I'll explain what gas stations are and how they work. And in part two, I will make an animated video showing you how the gas stations function on the blockchain. Kadena is the first public blockchain protocol that combines public blockchain applications with private blockchain applications. And in that process, they have successfully created the world's first crypto gas station on a blockchain. Links to several articles about Kadena gas stations will be linked down in the description. So before we dive into explaining Kadena gas stations, let's talk about the number one limitation holding the blockchain industry back from global adoption. And that limitation would be the onboarding process. No blockchain offers a better example of a horrible onboarding process than Ethereum. No offense to the ETH maxis out there, but it's true. For example, let's say Ashley is at work one day and she overhears her buddy John talking about how much money he has been making by investing in cryptocurrency. So Ashley thinks to herself, I'm way smarter than John. If John can do it, so can I. So that night after work, Ashley comes home and dives down the crypto rabbit hole. And just like the rest of us, she pours herself a nice tall glass of Ethereum Kool-Aid. She links her debit card to Coinbase and she deposits her first thousand dollars. She instantly realizes that she was charged a credit card processing fee of $3.99. The total she paid was $39.99. She was pretty upset, but just like the rest of us, she sucked it up and went on to purchase $960 worth of Ethereum. To her surprise, she was then charged another 1.49% transaction fee, which came out to $14.30. Ashley ended up owning $945.71 worth of Ethereum after all was said and done. Now, because Ashley is much smarter than the rest of us, she actually did her own research and she learned the first rule about crypto, not your keys, not your crypto. Ashley realized she needed to get her crypto off this centralized exchange and into a self-custody crypto wallet where she controlled the private keys. So Ashley downloaded MetaMask, she backed up her private keys, and she went back to Coinbase to withdraw her Ethereum. Now, unfortunately for Ashley, the NFT collection Little Bunny Fufu was also doing an epic land sale at the same time she was trying to withdraw her Ethereum. Ethereum gas fees were through the roof. Ashley couldn't believe that she was about to get charged an extra $100 gas fee to withdraw her Ethereum. Ashley tried to do a little bit more research, but this was her first time interacting with blockchain technology. Everything was way above her head. She read a few horror stories about people losing all of their crypto because they left it on a centralized exchange. So Ashley did what most of us would do. She said, screw it. And she hit that confirm withdrawal button. When her withdrawal was finished, she realized that she was charged a $100 Ethereum gas fee and Coinbase charged her another 1% transaction fee to withdraw her Ethereum. Ashley's $1,000 turned into $945 worth of Ethereum after the 1% transaction fee of $9.45 plus the $100 Ethereum gas fee, Ashley ended up with $836.25 worth of Ethereum in her crypto wallet. Her $1,000 investment was down 16.75%. Talk about a horrible onboarding process. Now, of course, this is pretty much the worst case scenario, but nonetheless, this is a very bad onboarding experience, especially when you're interacting with the second largest cryptocurrency in the world. Now, please note, the fees here were just used as an example, and they may not reflect Coinbase's current fee structure at this time. Please see links down in the description for an accurate fee structure on Coinbase fee transactions. Now. Let's talk about how Kadena is attempting to solve this onboarding process by creating what is called a crypto gas station. So what are crypto gas stations and how do crypto gas stations work? In order to explain this, we need Ashley's help again. Let's say Ashley buys a brand new Tesla. How awesome would it be if Elon Musk put prepaid Tesla charging stations all over the world? So no matter where you drove, if you owned a Tesla, you could get off the expressway, pull into a local park and ride and charge your Tesla for free. I mean, that'd be pretty cool, right? Kadena's solution to the gas fee nightmare is the application of gas stations. They are prepaid accounts that finance gas payments under specific conditions. Because Kadena is a multi-core blockchain, which means that Kadena has 20 Ethereum-like blockchains all braided together, dApps can be built on one individual chain or they can be built on multiple chains. For example, your dApp could be built on chain one, two, three, four, or five, or you could build your dApp to run on every chain. 
Think of this process like a crypto bridge. If you wanted to move crypto assets from Ethereum into the Polygon ecosystem, you would need to use a bridge. You would pay a fee to wrap your Ethereum and then you would pay a fee every time you wanted to move your wrapped Ethereum from one Polygon Layer 2 application to the next Polygon Layer 2 application. In other blockchains, users would need to pay gas fees to move their coins from one chain to the next. Heck, they even charge you gas fees to stake your crypto on their DEXs. Because Cadena has created these prepaid gas stations, the Cadena blockchain acts more like a highway for crypto, and every driver gets a free tank of gas every time they drive on the highway. Imagine if every time you drove through a toll booth, instead of paying the person working at the toll booth for driving on that highway, they gave you a free tank of gas. The Cadena blockchain is very similar in that context. This is why I laugh when I hear people talk about Cadena minor rewards. Would you rather pay Ethereum gas fees every time you need to use the network, or would you rather have free gas for the rest of your life and reward the miners properly for securing the network? When you want to move coins from a dApp built on chain 1 to a different dApp built on chain 20, your coins are sent into the crypto gas station on chain 1. The gas station then burns your coins on chain 1, it submits proof to chain 20, and then it recreates those same coins on chain 20. This all happens seamlessly behind the scenes, and it adds no additional burden to the end user. In blockchains like Ethereum, Cardano, and Avalanche, users must first buy coins in order to interact with the blockchain applications. You must first own that cryptocurrency because everything you do on the blockchain requires gas. This makes the onboarding journey for new users as painful as opening a new bank account when in reality, it needs to be as simple as signing up for an Instagram account. Just imagine being able to build blockchain video games where users can buy, sell, or trade in-game assets for free without paying any gas fees. Just imagine a blockchain where you could mint NFTs for free, or better yet, upgrade those NFTs for in-game assets. Just imagine what's gonna happen when governments and big legacy banks realize that they can transfer billions of dollars across the world in seconds for free. In 2021, somebody paid $70,000 in Ethereum gas fees to move their transaction to the front of the line and guarantee that it was processed. To move that same transaction to the front of the line on Cadena, it would cost you less than one one hundredth of a penny. And just imagine when insurance companies and healthcare facilities realize that they can store important data on the blockchain and also transfer that data anywhere in the world for free. Now, this is just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to understanding how gas stations work. In part two, I will show you an animated version of how gas stations function on the Cadena blockchain. If you guys could do me a huge favor and hit that like button and hit that subscribe button, I'd greatly appreciate it. And then come join us live on my second YouTube channel.